we go. Bathroom, shower, toilet. And my favorite item of the Philippines, the, they've, they've got it right. Instead of dry wiping with toilet paper, uh, bidets are the norm. It makes sense, right? If, if, you're, if you've got soil on your arm, you're not gonna wipe it off with tissue. You're gonna use water. So this is great for anal hygiene. It works good, just testing it. Huh? A 20? Yeah. Check my wallet. See, I'm just a bank. <laughs> Baguio City. Here we is. In Manila, it's about 31 degrees. In Baguio, it's about 10 degrees cooler. Highs of 18, lows of about 10s. We brought our sweaters. Yes, we're actually gonna have to wear a sweater in the Philippines. So we are at the Holiday Park, right in the center of Baguio. We're gonna check into our rooms. My uncle has some stuff planned for us. He is our tour guide, so he's gonna tell us where to go, what to see, what to take in. The chow king I ate isn't gonna help. Bad. Hello. <laughs> and the uh, pork. Show <laughs> power. Okay. Asado. Two. Two. Five. Five. Okay. So which room are we? <laughs> you said it. One of those rooms. Two o one. Okay. Yeah. Two o one. Hotel. I seriously have not stayed in a hotel in forever. It's been a while, so this is a real treat for us, hey. Then, oh wow, right behind the sign. Mm -hmm. Check bang so. Hello Baggio! Packing my two nights only. Filipino breakfast at this hotel. You got the menu here, corned beef, luncheon meat, AKA spam, it's just a fancy word for it. Longanisa, which is a sort of like a sweetened Spanish sausage with rice, garlic rice and eggs. And of course, boneless bangos. Settled in. Just gonna get Father Vic so we can begin our sightseeing around Baguio City. Is it two or three, right? Yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you ready to go? Okay. Whenever you're ready, we're ready to we're ready to head out. Namokai. All right, let's go. Explore Baguio. Key card chick. Oh, a sweater. We need a sweater. Yeah. Is it cold out? Oh uh, yeah, we're in Baguio. This isn't like the rest of the Philippines. We're higher above sea level. We're close to the clouds. We're up in the mountains. So it's a lot cooler in the city. So, sweater. All right, look at this. We need to leave. And um, <laughs> it's kind of tricky when there's a car right there. <laughs> Do a bit of Tetris over here. This guy's gonna move his truck back that way. There we go. Thanks, mate. Notice here a lot of the uh, Baguio Baguioites here wear uh, sweaters. You see everybody wearing light jackets, spring jackets, windbreakers, and all that. It's really not that cold, but I guess we're Canadian, right? For a Filipino, this is pretty cold. And for a Kiwi, this wouldn't be that cold. The mansion. This 
scared me. Are they military? Those guys are military? Security. Security. Yes, this is the presidential uh, summer residence. Wow. So that's, uh, so that's where all the, the president stayed. During uh, if ever he goes to Baguio. Uh, this is where they would stay. The presidential suite. This is where Amelda Marcos, the Marcoses would have stayed. Estrada. Uh, I guess all the, all, all the presidents of the Philippines. Sweater? Really? Yeah, yeah. A costume? Yeah, we rent a costume for you. Oh, sweet. We could rent costumes. Yeah, yeah. Show it, show it to your friend. <laughs> wow. So there's a lot of vendors here selling maiz and uh, squid. Everlasting flowers. These flowers never die. These ones don't die ever. <laughs> so, okay, I guess I have to dress up. Feels familiar? <laughs> <laughs> this is the honeymoon ritual. <laughs> Ling has a big Igorot head. <laughs> and now we are officially husband and wife. Let's uh, take some photos. Look at you, yeah. wow. Okay. And your headpiece says Baguio City. <laughs> Representing the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah. Yeah. You like your hat. <laughs> Alright, so you have to try to hit that little metallic thing in the middle there. Let me just try to watch this. Alright, this one's for you, Kobe. <laughs> oh man. Alright, Manoling's turn. Manoling's up. Oh, oh money! <laughs> it sounded like you hit it. Yeah, I hit the metal off right. Still better than me. Fresh air as you could get. A lot fresher than Manila air. I think that's saying much though. Yeah. I stayed here in Baguio for a month. I had a 30 day retreat. Mm -hmm. so hopefully tomorrow I go there. we'll go there. Nice place. Mm -hmm. no, I, I couldn't resist the corn. Because it's the corn of the corn. Right. <laughs> Anyone really want something else? Good. Really good. Okay. The, the yellow and pink. Yellow and pink, this one? Mm. <laughs> Get that corn out of my face! Get that corn out of my face! No, don't hit it! Get that corn out of my don't face! Hit it. <laughs> it's release! Yeah, it's not. Mm. So Baguio has uh, abundance of strawberries, that's what they are known for. So we're going to try their strawberry taho. Just want the strawberry. Okay. Oh wow. That's it, love. Okay. You want one for mommy? Alright. One, uh, one, one more. One more? Strawberry. No, 
now I'm on video trying to grab it from your hand. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 oh, we were so scared. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Mm, strawberry taho. Tasty. Which one do you want? Uh, strawberry taho. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> We're ordering up our uh, breakfast for tomorrow morning. So I went with the uh, bagos, my favorite. One of my favorites. It's a toss up between longanisa, bacon, and bagos. You got the bacon. You got the longanisa. <laughs> so this is our haul of chichiria. We got strawberry crinkle cookies, peanut brittle, and. What else? Okay, so. Some other stuff. Some good snacks. That was day one of Baguio. Tomorrow we've got another full day in Baguio. And then we leave on Thursday. So we've got one more night here in Baguio. Plenty of time to take in the sights. They've got two really interesting museums. One of which is the Cordillera Museum. Which is uh, supposed to be really interesting especially if you're into uh, Filipino folk dance, which Ling is, this was her idea. So that's to come. Thanks for watching.